Just last year, Sarah Jessica Parker and her hubby Matthew Broderick said goodbye to their longtime New York City home, selling for $15 million. The couple had purchased the stunning three level property way back in 2000 for under $3 million and renovated it extensively over the years. These days, it sports an eclectic design with jewel toned furniture, retro touches, and more. In 2016, the couple purchased two side by side townhomes in the same neighborhood for $34.5 million dollars with plans to combine them into a single mega mansion so it's likely that that's where they're moving. Let's take a look. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sarah Jessica Parker is an actress and TV producer best known for her role as Carrie Bradshaw on the HBO series Sex and the City. For this role she won two Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. Not unlike her famed character Carrie, in reality Sarah loves living in Manhattan and has done so for decades alongside her family. Sarah and her actor her husband Matthew Broderick met way back in the 90s and bonded over their shared love of musical theatre. Nearly 20 years after meeting, the famous couple is still going strong. After tying the knot in 1997, Sarah and Matthew went on to welcome three children together and also purchased their longtime New York City townhouse shortly after getting married. Throughout their decades long romance, the stars have kept their relationship as private as possible, including much of their home life. With a combined net worth of about $200 million dollars you already know that Sarah and Matthew are living in style and luxury in Manhattan. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're checking out where Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. After almost a year of looking for a buyer, Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick sold their longtime New York City home for $15 million in 2021. It said the couple put their house up as an off market whisper listing when they started off asking $19 million for the place. Sarah and Matthew bought the three level townhome located in the West Village neighborhood of Manhattan back in 2000. At the time, it set the couple back only a mere $2.9 million or just above, and over the decades living here, the 1905 built home underwent extensive renovations at the hands of the Broderick Parkers. While there are no listing photos to look at directly, in 2014, Parker did invite Vogue inside this home as part of the magazine's first ever installment of 73 Questions. In this video, we can catch a glimpse of the ground floor and see that her home offers archways between rooms, crown moldings, fireplaces, and a mix of colorful decor and elegance. There are dark hardwood floors throughout, eclectic decor, and every bit of available wall or shelf space was full of art and books. Beyond Sarah and Matthew's oversized front doors, the entryway had old world charm with dark wood trim and modern elements like the staircase's carpeting. In the family room, the walls are a cheery green color while built in bookshelves line two of the walls. And the actress is all about a good book. There's also a chic wood burning fireplace in this room and elsewhere a bar. At Thanksgiving, Sarah also shared a photo taken inside of the kitchen where we could see wooden floors as well as a large white island lined with metallic silver stools. A sunlit space with floor to ceiling windows near the family room was used for games with a retro ping pong table while the formal dining room has a piano. Thanks to an Instagram post we saw that Sarah has a bright yellow dining table she was doing laundry on. In the study the award winning actress has her golden globes on display and even though she's a Manhattan girl at heart we can tell that she loves to see and travel the world. In the video we also get a glimpse of Mr. Broderick's baseball club collection since he's an avid fan of the sport. While the couple parted ways with their longtime family home, Ms. Bradshaw, I mean Parker, won't be leaving New York City anytime soon. The couple dropped $34.5 million in 2016 for a pair of neighboring townhomes just a few blocks away, also in West Village, which they had some big plans for. So as I mentioned, in 2016, the Broderick Parkers purchased a new dwelling down the street for $34.5 million, taking on a massive construction project. The side-by-side -side townhomes are on a prime tree-lined block in West Village, but Sarah and Matthew made plans to combine them into a single 13 
10,900 square foot mega mansion with a bonus 2,100 square foot private garden. Renovations began soon after purchase, and the couple hired Morris Ajimi Architects to get the job done. The brick faced beauty span 50 feet of street frontage and will no doubt be an upgrade for the star couple once the home is fully completed. The only photos we have of the property are back from the time of purchase, where you can get a sense of the interiors, the high ceilings in most spaces, and the work that would have needed to be done to the place. The building was owned since the 1920s by the United Methodist Women nonprofit organization and is just steps away from the Magnolia Bakery in a prime location. While Sarah and Matthew already spent a fortune on the property alone, it's assumed they also spent millions more upgrading and combining the townhouses to seamlessly blend. Clearly, this is where they're moving their family to or where they already moved into. Now, these are not the only Manhattan properties Sarah and Matthew have owned. In 2012, it was reported that the pair listed this home that they owned in Greenwich Village area of New York City. And they listed it for a hopeful $25 million, but after not selling, they had to relist it again in 2014 while lowering the price. The couple snatched up the 25 foot wide townhouse in 2011 for almost 19 million and completed a laundry list of structural renovations on the place. It's a sleek and charming space located in one of Manhattan's most recognized neighborhoods. Parker and Broderick never actually occupied the home. They purchased it with the intent to flip it, and the property supposedly doubled as a clothing storage for the fashion obsessed Parker. Must be the most expensive closet of all time, but I'm not surprised. The pair renovated the home top to bottom quite beautifully, and the Greek Revival style residence features 6,800 square feet of living space with five beds, five full baths, and three half baths. The recently refreshed red brick home was originally built in 1846 and stands four floors above ground with two below. A classic raised stoop entrance, much like Carrie Bradshaw had, leads to a narrow entryway and stair hall with gray flagstone floors, and nearby there's a formal dining room that looks out over the street. One of the seven fireplaces throughout the home is located in this dining room, while another occupies a 31 foot long formal living room with original mantelpiece, a wet bar, and direct access to the private garden. The garden level kitchen features a large island, marble covered fireplace wall, and only the best stainless steel appliances, not to mention a sunlit breakfast room. On this floor, you'll also find a handy service entrance and guest or staff room with private ensuite. There are three guest rooms on the third floor, while the master suite spreads luxuriously across the fourth floor. It boasts an oversized bath with hand carved stone tub, a pair of dressing rooms, and a private terrace overlooking the garden. Fun fact, the home was reportedly staged with pieces from Miss Parker's actual wardrobe. The topmost floor of the townhouse consists of a massive hangout space with two large skylights, entertainment system, and 45 foot long stretch of bookshelves. At the other ends of this floor, Floor, there's a small office and bathroom. After looking at photos of the home, it's understandable why it was priced so highly. With incredible modern interiors, expansive living spaces, an outdoor garden and more, it was totally an NYC dream house. Unfortunately, in the end, the Broderick Parkers had to sell the home for $18.25 million at a nearly three quarter million dollar loss, not even counting how much they spent on flipping the place. All right, well, after checking out Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Matthew Broderick's storied real estate portfolio in New York City, that'll bring this house tour to an end. For my Sex in the City fans, who had better homes in Manhattan? Carrie Bradshaw or Sarah Jessica Parker? Be sure to let me know what you thought about the couple's properties down in that comment section. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!